Howdy TPDDL fans and happy What Wednesday! Today we are going to take you back to the basics. Or maybe I should say take you all back to your roots. This week we're posing the question, what do healthy roots look like? And I know some of you are probably thinking, Mandy, I really thought that you had a challenge for me this week. Come on, what is this? But you would be surprised by all the unhealthy roots that we see that come through the clinic. It's quite depressing, actually. So, that leads us to try and help you guys understand what healthy roots look like versus unhealthy roots. Healthy roots are white or tan in color, succulent and fleshy, strong since they provide support and anchor the plant, numerous in their count, and smell fresh. Two examples that um, I think of whenever I see healthy roots, they actually remind me of angel hair pasta and silk. Unhealthy roots are going to look dark orange, brown, or even black. They'll also smell rotten and sour. They also won't have much growth to them. As you can see in this picture, it's almost like the roots just kind of stop. They reach a certain thickness and it's like they can't go further, which led this client to send in a sample to get it tested for Phytophthora root rot. All right, you may be wondering now, how can I maintain healthy roots? So I'll give you a really simple example. You know, you and I as human beings, we take a drink whenever we're thirsty, we eat when we're hungry, and of course we have air all around us because that's what we need to be able to breathe and survive, right? We'll apply those same things that, that we need to what your plant's root system needs. So you don't wanna overwater them or underwater them. Overwatering could cause a root rot, underwatering can cause dry out, in death, of course. Um, and then you don't want to fertilize during the slow growing season like winter. And then you don't want to also apply much fertilization during the heat of the summer, right? Um, and then air, for the air, um, you can actually apply uh, soil amendments like perlite, or um, you can break up the soil in some way so that um, if the soil was compacted by something, um, you can help break it up, provide a little bit more air to those roots. So I hope that all of this helped you in some way. And then the next time that you see a plant that's not looking so hot, and I don't mean the heat hot, I mean the, oh my, look at that beautiful voluptuous plant over there, um, you may want to consider getting to the root of the problem. See what I did there? So, I will see you next week. Bye!